dear friends! Hey guys! Welcome back to the channel. Uh huh. Today we have something special for you. Yeah. Because it's Black History Month, we decided to do something along those lines, mm -hmm. something along that theme. Yep. And today we're doing Husband Answers Congo and Black History Month trivia. That's right. So let's see how many he can get right. How well do you know my culture? Hopefully how well. well. Oh no, honey. <laughs> Say a prayer for me. Because some of these questions, I was like, hmm? do I know these? <laughs> so yes, I have um, I have a total of 10 questions and then some uh, pertaining to like maybe the history of Congo and um, some black figures. Um, black is in, in America. Oh, and, <laughs> I thought you meant your black figure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, I'll also throw in some fun ones just to kind of see how well Jory oh, pays no. attention. <laughs> oh, no. It's not gonna be that bad. You don't think well. so? Yeah. Okay. So shall we start? Yeah. Let's do, do you want a Do you want a serious one? Not a serious one. Do you want more of an educational one, or do you want like a fun one? Uh, start with educational. Okay. Okay. Do you want to do Congo or or do you want to do U.S. U.S. Of course, you would. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here it goes. Excuse me if I'm slow getting to my stuff. Okay, number one. In what year did black Americans get the right to vote in the United States? You get no multiple choice. I just need a year. Okay, what year did black Americans mm -hmm. get the right to vote? Mm -hmm. Even if you can give me just the amendment, Oof. Then I'll give it to you. Oh man. Do you know that? Comment down below. I feel, I feel bad that I don't know exactly. <laughs> it's I'm, okay. I'm guessing well, it's okay, but it's not okay. 1900s. I'm gonna say. Uh, <laughs> do, do, right. do. <laughs> I, I'm gonna say it was after the First World War. I don't know if it was after the Second World War. Come, Come on, honey, say uh, it. Say 19, it. 19, 1945. 1870. Oh my goodness. Yeah. How come there wasn't any like real like recognition until later? That's crazy. Well, you guessed 19 something. I know. That's because I thought, you know, when did black folks start having more freedom? Mm -hmm. And I know that, you know, emancipation happened a long time ago, but mm -hmm. I didn't realize voting yeah. happened that long ago. Yep, 1870, y'all. Yeah, I'm sure there were things... I don't know, I'm sure a lot of them were afraid to vote still. Like, yeah, it was show up at the, the polling place, are you going to get in trouble, are you going to get hurt? You I don't know. know. It was when the Republicans passed the 15th Amendment. Oh, yeah, I knew that. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, it's That's okay. Horrible. Hey, we're learning together. All right, let's go over to Congo. Okay. Okay, what year did DRC gain its independence? What year? <laughs> did DRC gain its independence? If you don't know, I am from the DRC, Congo, oh. Kinshasa. <laughs> so I know King Leopold, I uh -huh. think it was like King Leopold II, mm -hmm. colonized the DRC in a horrific way. And I don't know dates real well. I know Patrick Lumumba, and then after that was uh, oh, the one, I know his name, Sese Seiko. <laughs> What was his name? I Mobutu. Can't tell you. Mobutu says it's sickle, but I'm I'm not sure where. Answer the question. <laughs> I don't know. Man, if you can give me the month, I'll take it. How, how, would, how would I give you a month if I can't even get the year? <laughs> um, or his not reign, his claim to power, mm -hmm. which was 1960, 1960, 59, 1959. <laughs> you have one more time to answer the question. Pick one. Is it 1959 uh, or 1960? 59. Okay, it was actually 1960. Oh! June 30th. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so close. But it was with Mobutu's entrance to power. Oh okay. no! I yep. still got more questions. Yep. Okay, I can't okay. give it away. <laughs> okay. I'm pretty sure that's when he came in. Okay. Please do a dance called... Oh, a dance? Yes. 
Cole. <laughs> I can't dance. <laughs> Called. Chicken head? Yeah. So if I had to guess, mm -hmm. I would probably do this. Chicken head? Yes. Your head's not even like moving. <laughs> I don't know what <laughs> and I don't know if they can see my list, so I'll just link a video. Okay. All right. Which U.S. president ordered the Emancipation oh, Proclamation changing the legal status of three million blacks from slaves to free? Abraham Lincoln. Very good. <laughs> that was an easy. Y'all, if you didn't get this one. <laughs> <laughs> Who was the first African American elected governor in the U.S. history? Oh, I have no Who idea. Who was the first African American elected governor in the U.S. history? I have no idea. Should I give you some choices? <laughs> sure. Okay. Number one, Jesse Jackson. Number two, Douglas Wilder. Number three, Kara Mosley Braun. I'm sorry if I'm butchering these names. And number four, Barack Hussein Obama. <laughs> Are you sure it's not Barack Obama? <laughs> well, there you go. You I'm going to go with uh, Wilder. What was his name? Something Wilder. Douglas Wilder. Yes, Wilder. I'm going to go with that. That is correct. Okay. Very good. Because... Uh, one was Jesse Jackson. I know he was a 1960-ish mm -hmm. with Martin Luther, Reverend Reverend Jesse Jackson, mm -hmm. uh, more modern. And then Barack Obama, no, obviously mm -hmm. not. Uh, and then one was a girl. So I thought, probably, I'm guessing, we're getting over the black um, suppression, but mm -hmm. are we over the woman suppression yet? Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking probably a guy. That's good. Take it back to the <laughs> motherland. <laughs> are you ready? Yes. Please list the last four presidents of Congo, including the recent one. The current one? Yep. So, the current, sorry. Um, Chisakedi? Uh -huh. Can you please list them in order? Starting with most recent? Yes. Chisakedi. Okay. Kalala? Kalala. Sorry. <laughs> Kabila. <laughs> sorry. Whoops. Oh! It's an insult. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm laughing because Kalala is my sister's husband's last name. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you didn't know anything wrong. Kabila. Just Katie, Kabila. Uh-huh. Um, just Katie, Kabila. Kabila, right? Father and son. Okay. Just Katie, the son Kabila, the father Kabila. Y'all, I am impressed. Yes! In that order. Very yes. good, Jory. Good job. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Okay. Congo was colonized by which country? Belgium. Is that your final answer, yes, sir? Yes, Belgium. Are you sure? Yes, Belgium. That is correct, Belgium. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, what was DRC, or Congo, previously known as? Oh, Zaire. Okay, there you go. It's Previously, also known as Zaire. Of... Okay, yeah. very good. He's doing well, y'all. <laughs> okay, so can you please do the dance called Malewa? What's what's with all these dances? Come on, honey. I don't. I, I this never is even who I am. <laughs> this is from this is from back home. Yeah, Malewa. Um. Okay. Did I get it do right? it again, do it again. Do it again. <laughs> yeah. Come on, do it again. <laughs> Why the jump? <laughs> Sometimes there's a jump. <laughs> I don't know. I'm Comment sorry. down below I'm if sorry. you know that there's usually a, a jump before getting into like a congo. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, they're just going along and then all of a sudden. <laughs> and they really get into it. <laughs> <laughs> that is so true. I'll link down a video so you guys can see what that dance is. I'm sorry, I'm butchering everything. In 
1900, what percentage of North American mainland colonies population consisted of black slaves? Okay, number one is 60%. Number two is 2%. Number three is 10%. And number four is 40%. I'm thinking it's a high percentage. Okay. I'm guessing it's 60%. Is that your final answer? Yes. That is incorrect. It is 10%. Really? Or it was 10%. Yep. Huh. Complete this quote from Martin Luther King Jr. Okay. okay. In the end, we will remember not the words of our enemies, uh, but the... Uh, not the words of our enemies, but the silence of our friends. That is correct. Let's keep yes, going. yes, that's deep. There's a lot to think about there. Yeah, that's, I was like, oh. Yeah. About how many people died under Leopold's rule in Congo, Zaire, Kinshasa, or Congo None in, in Zaire or Kinshasa because it wasn't called that at the time. Okay. I was. What, wait, what did you say? How many people died under King Leopold's rule in Congo, Zaire, Kinshasa? No, no, no. I'm just sorry. Leopold, period. Under Leopold. Yeah. Three million. No. Do you want to take another guess? Twenty million. Ten million people died oh. under Leopold's rule in Congo. That is crazy. That is that is That's hard disturbing. to swallow. Yeah, to it swallow. Is. Um that breaks my heart every time I think of it. Yeah. So if you didn't know that about Congo, now you do. Okay? <clears throat> Last question. Dory's doing so well. I am. Uh, yes, you are. I mean, I'm really impressed. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's going to happen? Okay, can you please do the call? Or <laughs> Can you please <laughs> You're going to have a few bloopers, aren't you? No. <laughs> Can you please do the dance called El Call or I'll Call or El Call or you have that choice. <laughs> or you can tell me who is known for doing that dance. I don't even know where that dance is from. Okay, it's from Congo. So, um, I'll go with who's known for doing it. Okay. Which would be Fali Ibuba. How did you know that? Process of elimination. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Who did, you, yes. who did you eliminate? Uh, uh, the old guy. Who? Uh, Kofi Olomide. Okay, very good. Okay. <clears throat> so that concludes our Black History slash Congo History trivia game. Did I say that correct? Yeah. Okay. I hope you guys did learn something and I hope you had fun. I hope you enjoyed my spot on dances. <laughs> <laughs> Were they spot on? I think I nailed them. Yeah, right. Okay, he tried. I'm glad he tried. And Jory knows a lot more than I thought, so I was very impressed. You Thank did you. well. You do know my culture well oh, enough. Yeah. Like yeah. the back of my hand. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get caught. <laughs> All right, if you guys have any questions pertaining to anything I've said, um, please comment down below. Or if you have an idea for a video, comment down below. Yes, indeed. Do you have anything else to say, honey? Uh, just that I enjoy every time we get a chance to hang out with our family. Yeah, our dear friends. Yes, dear yes. friends. Yeah, that is true. It is fun. Yes. I want to give a decent nod to Black History Month uh, because of the richness that our black Americans and Africans mm -hmm. have brought and Islanders mm -hmm. have brought to mm -hmm. the nation. Uh, I honor you and I am grateful for the richness of mm -hmm. culture and, and everything that you've brought and I am also saddened and I'm grateful for, for the way that we have tried to move towards cohesion mm -hmm. and and I am hopeful <clears throat> that that'll get stronger and better in the future in yeah. our nation. Yeah, Jory and I were actually talking today and we just I read um some statistics about how um uh 
I think it was a, up until 1900. Don't quote, quote me on that, but if I'm wrong, I'll make sure I'll say it's either 1800 or 1900 that um, there were still uh, slaves being brought from Congo, from my right. home country, to the U.S. to Brazil. You said into even into Caribbean. 1900. 1900. Yeah. So that is not. I kind of said now I can understand like. That is still fresh. Right. I can't, yeah. It gives me a little perspective on right. why. Right. We always think, well, it's so long ago. Long ago. But, but it's, it's not. Like, really. It's not. It's like. That's less than 200 years. Right. That's like two lifetimes ago. Yeah. So it gave me a better perspective to understand why maybe we might get looks or like, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. Like, I. I feel like I understand now a, a lot more than what I did, right. so like, I can appreciate that. Yeah. To, to maybe put it in context, it's like my grandfather, who's still alive, mm -hmm. could have like seen serious racism. Mm -hmm. um, I don't want to mention some of the horrific things he could have seen, mm -hmm. but then his father mm -hmm. could have seen actual slavery. Yeah. And so it's like my great grandfather yeah. could have been could have seen it. I don't, mm -hmm. you know, I would hope that he would have been the kind of person that would have stood up, but mm -hmm. I don't know. But yeah, should we close this out? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Thank you, dear friends, so much for tuning in and watching. We just want to say thank you for all the comments, mm -hmm. all the views we're getting. Yes. We're like so impressed yep. by it. I was like, oh, they like us. It's it has so been, good. it's really been an amazing past year of, yeah. of YouTube for us. Yeah. We're really grateful that people enjoy being with us and yeah. what we have to offer. We want to encourage, inspire. We want you to feel happier and more joyful just by being with us. Yeah. Topics. So thank you guys so much for watching. And with that, dear friends, keep, keep looking, looking up. up.